Hi guys, you're welcome to the Lover Studios. This is another episode of Android programming. We will learn about the Android Retrofit 2.0 images handling. I will download images from the URL and show it on the device screen using the Android Retrofit 2.0 uh, library. We will be capturing images from a web URL right there on the screen showing uh, from the link www.thelaurestudios.com retrofit or slash images or slash uploads android uh, jpeg file so we're actually going to be downloading this particular picture to the android device screen we'll be moving straight to android studio where i have the source file of this particular application and i'll be explaining uh, in details how each our uh, functionality flows uh, first of all in the build gradle we we'll talk about the module app session uh, we have our dependencies right on course uh, the Android support design 23.1, the retrofit 2.0, uh, the Google JSON, and the square up retrofit converter. And we talk about the OK HTTP uh, square up. We all need these dependencies uh, in this uh, application. So after doing this, you synchronize to Gradle and you have it set up. Uh, we talk about the layout files, the activity main, and the content main XML. The activity main is the default. Uh, XML that will be generated anytime you create or uh, start up a new project in Android. So this is a default uh, XML. We talk about the include content main. So this is what we're going to change. Let's look at the content main XML. We have the button and the image view. Uh, this button is actually holding on to the uh, click of the uh, downloading image. Whereby we have on each retrofit uh, image and they assign an ID to it called retrofit image. Uh, put that in cognizance. Uh, we have the image view. What about the idea of it is the image view ID. Where we set the maximum weight and height to it. Uh, all uh, 1420, 1420 pixels to 700 pixels. And the scale type is fit center. Uh, the layout with and height is wrap content. That takes us down to uh, the activities of this particular application. We have the main activity and we have the retrofit image API. Let's get to look at the main activity before the retrofit image which is the uh where we're going to have the the build uh, the base url so let's get to look at this uh we have the uh imports all done we have the java io file the file apple stream input and output exception retrofit call callback the json json converter factory and the retrofit itself now we have the url which is the link to the image uh which will be downloaded and we have the uh, the domain, which is uh, we call this the forehand uh, link, www.thelarestudios.com. And we're going to have the uh, the base URL, which uh, is actually sitting at the retrofit image API. So the base URL that's the continuing URL from that domain name is the retrofit or slash images uploads Android JPG, JPG, which is the JPEG file. We just repeat the full link of this particular uh, image. Uh, this is actually the interface where we get we need to get uh, annotation to get this particular picture. It can be a JSON file. It can be uh, uh, we actually use JSON most uh, appropriately with retrofit, and we have the correspond body and the get image details method. So before we go back to the main activity. Uh, we need to instantiate uh, the button array. Uh, what about we call on the ID to it called retrofit image? We need to call it to instantiate the button. We set an on click listener to this. What about there's going to be a visible image and uh, we set the visibility to gone. I'm going to call the get retrofit image method. The same method being passed into the uh, interface of the retrofit image API class. The get retrofit image. Uh, there's the method where we are instantiated the retrofit. We call on its base URL, uh, which is actually sitting over here. That's the base URL. Uh, now uh, we have the add our uh, converter factory and we build up the structure of the retrofit. Uh, we instantiate the retrofit image API class, this, this class in question. Uh, we call on the call response body and we enqueue this. Uh, on the on response method, where we have a try and catch to call on the file download dead boolean 
where we pass on the download image method and the response body will be uh, cached up. At the exception, we are actually going to undo if there is an error, you know, and it's going to print that to trace. We have the download image method, whereby we have a try and catch as well. This is a nested try method. Uh, well, the first try is going to read and write the file uh, based on the file output stream and the input stream Java high uh, The try, the first, the second try method is going to have a while loop to read, to actually read into the written uh, data, and it's going to add some separator to it, which is the Android JPG. The catch is going to actually undo an exception if the download image is not successful. During the course of doing this, we are going to cast, cast up the image view column with appropriate IDs uh, of the image view. And uh, we have the bitmap factory. We're going to instantiate the bitmap, create an object for it called bmap. Uh, this is actually going to get an, the external files directory, that's the directory to the link, and it's going to cast it with the Android JPG. Uh, it's going to concatenate it with the JPG extension. And now the way tonight, now you're going to multiply two to the big map and get the width. The same thing goes for the height, but this time you're going to multiply three to this. Uh, the input and output exception is being cached, and uh, the download is going to be done successfully using the download image boolean private method. Uh, let's go down to the manifest. Uh, Wherever we have the Android manifest, uh, we only have the include permission internet. You have to include this line. Uh, because you need to call on an image that is actually sitting on the server. I'll be uploading the source file to my GitHub account and I'll be showing this in an Android emulator so that you can be able to see how the uh, application flows. So stay tuned. Here we go with the application, the retrofit image download. So we have the button with the Android retrofit image uh, text written on it and we have the floating uh, button. Now we have to click this button to trigger the download image method. So you click on this, we actually get the downloads started. Uh, you can actually add uh, uh, a download progress. Can you see this? Uh, look at the image. The image has been uh, uh, showed successfully and gracefully on the Android device screen. So you can work more on this. You can add this to your project if you need to download an image or video or pictures. These are just the same process you need to follow to get it uh, rendered in an Android device. This is using Retrofit uh, Library API 2.0. Thank you very much for hanging out with me throughout the session. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful time. Bye-bye.